What is up, folks? Bristan Gaming, we are back with another exciting episode of 7 Days to Die Mods Weekly, the show will help you figure out what mods are good for you. And this week, as you guys can see here, we have a cool week ahead of us. We're going to call this the Water Week because all of these mods deal with water and looting water. So, yeah, makes sense, right? But before we jump into anything, though, I'm going to say thank you, community members, because the support means the world. And also thank you, mod authors, because you guys are just killing it with the the things that you guys have been making fixing all the stuff that the fun pimps break thank you so much for the work that you do but now we're gonna jump into the mods and the first mod is the merged dew collectors by kool-aid which cool name i like it i like the way you spelled it but what this does is you have two different versions of the water collector here so we have a times three version and a times nine version and when we come here and we look at if i just say dew collector so you see what we have here so we have a times three version, which if you have three normal dew collectors, you can craft them together to form a times three version. And if you have three times threes, you can craft them together to craft times nine version. And it doesn't take very long to craft, but that's not all it does. So we actually have some here. So you see this dew collector, it takes the default dew collector. I think is something like 10 hours in game. I don't remember the exact numbers but the times three version is three times as fast and when you loot it you actually get a bundle i'm actually going to go ahead and drop those you get a bundle of three water and the times nine from my testing is nine times as fast as the vanilla or the regular one and when you open it you get nine bottles of water so you know it just multiply multiplies itself but it's really nice to have because instead of having a farm of a bunch of different dew collectors down especially if you're playing with friends because this is a server side mod so you say you set down three you can pick them back up and craft a times three version which does the same amount of work in less time so you're still getting the same amount of water just in less time and then as you progress through, you keep buying and building more water collectors until you can set down, you know, three times nines and you've got a ton of water. It works really well to give you a sense of progression, but also just help push you through each, you know, sequential little day at a time. And it's just kind of nice to have like this because the amount of water you get is, is it's good for it's good for a group we've struggled a little bit with water but i think you guys are really going to like this one because it does help out and it does keep clutter down instead of having a bunch of different dew collectors you can just merge them all into one but with that we're gonna go ahead and move over to the next mod all right folks so this next mod is the water loot rework by sithalin and it's just a nice little mod that changes it to where you get water from certain loot sources in pure water as opposed to just murky water everywhere so these little water coolers here now give clean water. They can give one to two clean water as you loot them. So let's see how many we get here. And that's if they're lootable. Sometimes they're not lootable, so you're not going to get anything from them, of course. But also you can get uh, in a low probability from small, or I'm sorry, very low probability from small alcohol piles, low probability from medium and large alcohol piles. So you actually, you know, if you find a large alcohol pile, you can get drinking water from it. But the mod also adds in clean water to normal loot sources. So you have a chance now of getting clean water because for some reason it was not in the loot sources, like the loot code. Uh, according to the mod description, it was just murky and then purified. There was no clean for whatever reason according to the mod description. So this actually adds it back as a percentage chance. I have played around with it a little bit and I have noticed that besides these little water coolers, it does seem to help generate a little bit more water in places that is clean water. Of course, like toilets and stuff like that, you're still getting murky water, stuff like that, but you still have a chance of getting more clean water than you know where you normally would, which I really, I really like that. I, I think it's a great change. It's a good mod to play around with that. And it is a server side mod as well. So I think you guys are going to have a lot of fun with that if you're playing with friends. But with that, we're going to go ahead and move over to the next mod. All right, folks. So this next mod is another small server side mod. I think you guys are going to like. And it is the Snow to Water by Pobby. And it does exactly what it says. If you have snow, you can come to a campfire and turn it into clean drinking water. Since the fun pimps took out the jars, now you just have to sit here and you have to cook it. And this is great for if you're playing on a map where you're near the snow biome or you're actually in the snow biome when you spawn, you can just come harvest some stuff up. If you've got the cooking pot, bam, there you go. And you can make yourself some, some drinkable water. 
I like it because it's just it's a simple, really easy source of water to get, especially early game, because you can get these if you're lucky enough to find a wrench. You can get um, snow and ice from the ice machines. Sorry, there it is right here. When you wrench these things, you can actually get ice. You see, as we're wrenching it or snow in this case, as we're wrenching it, that's what we're getting. And you can turn that with this mod, you can turn that right into drinking water as soon as you get a cooking pot. And if you get lucky, you can have a cooking pot day one within a couple of hours. Bam, there you go. Clean, easy drinking water. It's a super fun mod because of that. And it really does help out a lot of early game struggles. But with that, we're gonna go ahead and move over to the next mod. All right, folks. So this next mod is the super easy bucket of boiled water by Silver Magister. And it's another server side mod that gives you a second source of water. So if you have a bucket or if you don't, if you have seven forged iron, you can craft a bucket right in your inventory. And then you come to any little water source like this little water puddle down here I'm in. And you scoop up some water. You come to a campfire here and you craft a bucket of boiled water. Now it does take a couple of minutes to cook, but we're actually gonna circumvent that. And we're just gonna come in here and we're gonna grab a bucket of boiled water and open it so I can show you. We're gonna open it, and you see now we have three extra boiled water, or three extra water that we can drink. It's a, it's a super easy server side mod that gives you something extra for water. Uh, it's really easy to get. Like I said, you just come here, you grab up your water, you come in here, you cook it, and once it's cooked through, you'll get three buckets or three drinkable water. It's really easy. It takes seven forged iron, which if you're lucky and you get a wrench or anything early to start getting some forged iron going, bam, you'll have this easy water source, no problem whatsoever. And like I said, it is server side, so it's fun to have with friends, stuff like that. But with that, we're going to go ahead and move over to the next mod. All right, folks. So this next mod is the super cool craftable water filter by No Cloud for You, and this takes away a lot of the stress of trying to figure out what to sell, what to loot to get yourself the 2,200 dukes you need to buy a water filter. Instead, you come into your inventory, and so long as you have 20 scrap polymer, 10 coal, 10 crushed sand five cloth fragments and three glue you can craft a water filter and these are all really easy to get day one you might get lucky and be able to get these all on the way to the trader or shortly after the trader and if you're like me you build a poi you might be able to get multiple sources of these things and then bam you could have multiple water filters day one with no sweat doesn't take long it takes three minutes to craft which is usually about the time you're setting up anywhere or anything like that you're going to be more than lucky to have a couple of these crafting going on and i think it's fantastic for that and it is a server side thing so if you're playing with friends and you all craft these as you're coming together it helps a lot it just gets you guys so much further along because you can spend your dukes on weapons or food or other stuff as opposed to having to buy the mandatory water filter to make a new collector this really does help out a ton with that but with that we're gonna go ahead and move over to the last mod all right folks so this final mod is the super cool advanced do collector by i don't care or idc12 and it's a really nice mod that adds a do collector that's more like a workstation like a forge or a chem station as opposed to the normal do collectors and when we come in here and look we have modifiers so we have a mineral infuser which produces infused water which is what this is and the infused water gives 35 hydration and it cures dysentery or supposed to cure dysentery but the mineral infuser is only purchasable you can't loot it and you can only purchase it from traders hugh jen or joel for the tune of 123,000 dukes that's a lot of dukes and then the advanced water filter increases production speed by 20% and it too is only purchasable and only purchasable from traders Hugh, Jen, or Joel. You can't loot it and it costs 9,000 dukes. And then we have a large water collector here that says it crafts three waters at a time, but it doesn't. It only crafts two from each block, which is still better than nothing. And we have a large water barrel, which increases the total capacity of the collector to nine from three, which is really nice. And we can actually look at the inventory here. So to produce the advanced dew collector, we have to have level 30 of workstations and it costs one advanced filter, which again costs 9,000 dukes and is only purchasable from traders Hugh, Jen or Joel. 
100 scrap polymer, 20, 20 forged iron, 35 electrical parts, and 150 wood. It's really easy to get those things. And then if we look at the large water barrel, it's 10 forged iron and 300 wood. And the large water catcher is 250 scrap polymer and 30 duct tape. And by the time you get to the point where you can craft this with a level 30 of workstations, you should have more than all of these things because you can still use the all of the resources or all of the mods we've talked about previously with this in conjunction and you have a steady source of water to craft glue stuff like that and this is just an awesome little progression path to get there and especially because you can turn around and sell water from the other dew collectors and stuff like that for profit back to the traders especially if you're using the snow to water or the bucket stuff like that so it's just a really cool combunk Com combination of mods here that i hope will help alleviate people's water needs but with that we are done for the week folks thanks for sticking around hope you had fun if the episode was helpful to you go ahead and like subscribe drop a comment down below let us know what you think if you didn't like the episode hey that's cool too you can go ahead and leave a dislike and drop a comment tell us what we can do better but with that have fun take it easy and we will see you next time